Neil Gaiman has given us permission to share his stories at this moment in time. And I think that's extraordinary. And I wanted to take advantage of that and this kind of digital medium. Uh, in case any of my artist friends are not familiar with Neil Gaiman's Art Matters Because Your Imagination Can Change the World. It's an absolutely gorgeous, tiny little collection of essays and commencement speeches, inspirational musings. Um, and I think it should be on your shelf next to The Artist's Way and Art and Fear and all of the other compendiums that you reference um, when we're going through our normal ups and downs and certainly in this extraordinary time of uh, uncertainty and uh, and fear. So I revisited this yesterday and I just want to read the latter part of the last portion of this book which is called Make Good Art. I think that it's uh, a good thing to ruminate on right now and I encourage you to purchase this and add it to your library. I wish you luck. Luck is useful. Often you will discover that the harder you work and the more wisely you work, the luckier you get. But there is luck and it helps. We're in a transitional world right now, if you are in any kind of artistic field, because the nature of distribution is changing. The models by which creators got their work out into the world and got to keep a roof over their heads and buy sandwiches while they did that are all changing. I've talked to people at the top of the food chain in publishing, in book selling, in all of those areas, and nobody knows what the landscape will look like two years from now, let alone a decade away. The distribution channels that people had built over the last century or so are in flux for print, for visual artists, for musicians, for creative people of all kinds, which is on one hand intimidating and on the other immensely liberating. The rules, the assumptions, the now we're supposed to's of how you get your work seen or what you do then are breaking down. The gatekeepers are leaving their gates. You can be as creative as you need to be to get your work seen. YouTube and the web and whatever comes after YouTube and the web can give you more people watching than television ever did. The old rules are crumbling and nobody knows what the new rules are, so make up your own rules. Somebody asked me recently how to do something she thought was going to be difficult. In this case, recording an audiobook, and I suggested she pretend that she was someone who could do it. Not pretend to do it, but pretend she was someone who could. She put up a notice to this effect on the studio wall and she said it helped. So be wise, because the world needs more wisdom. And if you cannot be wise, pretend to be someone who is wise, and then just behave like they would. Make interesting, amazing, glorious, fantastic mistakes. Break rules. Leave the world more interesting for your being here. Make good art.